Okay, so first of all, I'm just going to start by saying that I was going to do like a full glam like eye look, but I got quite a lot of base products and I really just want to focus on talking about them. I feel like when I do like an eye look, I talk about that for so long because it takes so long to do. Um, I do have an eyeliner and a mascara that I'm going to try, which I'm really excited to try, but I thought I would just show you the palettes because these are going to go in the giveaway, which I'll tell you more about later. Um, but they're super, super cute palettes. So yeah, I've got some really nice base products to try. I don't want to make the video super, super long. Um, I just want to talk in depth about the face products. I've tried Revolution um, eyeshadows before and I do really like them. So I thought I'm not going to sit here and talk about them as a first impressions because I've used their shadows many times before. So I know that I like them. And I think these are inspired by the Huda Beauty palettes. My brightness is up a little bit so it's... um coming out a bit strange on the camera um but it's pretty in pink and the squeeze me you can see the better color there these are actually by makeup obsession and they were five pounds each which i was like bargain you actually get nine shades in here which is really good i thought for like a starter or someone that's like in school wanting to try with makeup these are really really cute so this is the squeeze me palette I bought these two because I love pink and I love orange and I do those colours quite a lot on my eyes. If I'm going to do an eye colour look then I usually do that. Um, so literally like this, you can see next to my head for size reference. This is the Squeeze Me palette and again there's nine shades, this is mine. Um, so I'm going to take the plastic off to show you. I'm also, so like I said, I'm putting one of these each in the giveaway. Um, I was going to pick just one but I want to see how glad I picked two because they're smaller than I thought they would be. But for £5... I'm not arguing, so let me just... Okay, so this is how it looks. So there's four matte shades, a kind of satin shade, and then four shimmers in there. Um, so that is what they look like. Again, my ring light is on, so sorry if you can't really see them. But that's more of the peachy shades there. I think they're really, really cute. Good little size. Um, again, if you're starting out, you're not going to use it too much. So I think that's really, really cute. So that's the orange one. And that one is also going to be in the giveaway, like I said, obviously not this one because it's mine. Um, and then also the pink one is the Pretty in Pink palette. Again, super cute, is it again for makeup obsession. So I think they're inspired by the Huda Beauty ones, like I said, they're £9, they're square, um, and they do all these different colour uh, colorways. They do a pastel one, they do glue, they do green, so yeah, I think definitely inspired. Um, and then this is the Pretty in Pink nine colours that you get in there. I think they're absolutely gorgeous. I love this gold on the top row as well. So in here there's four mattes and then five shimmers in there. So I think they're really, really cute. Um, so yeah, I didn't want to do a crazy eye look today, but I thought I'd show you those anyway. So I'm going to start with my brows. I picked up a really cool product to try for my brows. I also picked up a eyebrow product for you guys, but it's not this one. I picked this the standard brow gel because um, I thought it was a bit easier for people to try because this, I don't think it's going to be good. So this is the Revolution Soap Styler. Um, so I've seen lots of people use like the brow soap recently um, and I just thought I'd give it a go. Now my brows are atrocious right now, so you can't see too well on the camera, but obviously with being in lockdown, I haven't had my brows done in probably six months because I haven't had them done recently before lockdown either so I don't even know but this is the product it comes with a little rose gold tub okay and then you've just got like the soap on top and then this tiny little brush here too let's see how that feels before I use it okay that could be a little bit rough but I think I might have a spoolie I could actually use with it. So I'm going to get a brow spoolie um, and then a spoolie to use with the soap and then I'm going to give it a try. Okay, so I've just got my Anastasia Browers to like, uh, I don't know, brush through my brows. And then I've got my Peaches and Cream PC09 brush to use a spoolie. You know, brows maybe a little bit too big, but I'm gonna give it a try anyway. I'm just gonna try and zoom you guys in a little bit more. I don't know how far I can go about you not seeing my brows. Okay, that's gonna do for now. So I'm gonna start with my Anastasia brow wiz, like I said, and just kind of brush my hairs into place. But like I said, they're not on fleek right now, so I do have some weird random hairs. If I don't like how this goes, I may fill it in my pencil as well. So I don't actually know this is the right one. No, it's not, but grab another one if needs be. 
I just thought this would be fun. And that's why I also don't want to do like a crazy brow lip. I'm just going to have like soap style brows. So I'm going to just run my brush back and back into it, I guess. Actually not be right back at all because I actually picked up a new setting spray from Revolution. This is the I Heart Revolution Pineapple Brightening Makeup Fixing Spray. Obviously you don't need brightening for my brows, but since I've got this, let's give this a try. So I'm going to spray my brush with this. I know I've already done it, but spray my brush with that. It's gone all over my it does smell like pineapple to be fair, that's really nice. Okay, so I might spray a bit of setting spray into the product. Spray a bit of setting spray in there, I think a little bit too much maybe, but Okay. It's not too bad, is it? I'm just gonna try and do it like this. Brush it all up and then I don't hate it. I'm going to do the other one and see if I want to fill it in because I'm not too sure. So I'm going to go back in with my Anastasia Spoonie. I think I might need to just fill in the tail a little bit because it's looking a little bit sparse. You can see that, I don't know. So I'm just going to take a little bit of Anastasia, um, Anastasia Medium Brown and just fill it in. I don't have a Revolution Brow Pencil, so sorry. Just gonna add a few little hair strokes. Just stick on my tail a little bit hard because it's a little bit stiff with the soap in. It's a little better. Not my first, it's my first go doing that guys, so if you think that's shit then I'm really sorry. <laughs> um, but it's done, so that's good. Um, so the brows are on and that was the Revolution Soap Styler. I think it's like six pounds. Um, and that setting spray smells amazing, so I can't wait to spray that on. So what I am actually going to do next, I'm going to put some moisturiser on first, but I'm going to um, do my like eyeshadow, like eye base, like just cover up my eyes and then do my eyeliner so I can do my foundation once my eyeliner is on because I hate doing my eyeliner after my foundation is done in case it goes to shit. So yeah, I'm going to put my hair back. Okay, so I don't like my hair, but I'm just gonna um, chuck on a bit of moisturiser first. This is the L'Oreal Hydrogen. I don't actually need to do that. Yeah, I do. Sorry, I was trying to think about what I was going to do first because I'm obviously going to do my eye first. My eyes first. I'm literally just going to put a base on, set it, and then whack on eyeliner because I've got any eyeliner to try. Um, so yeah, L'Oreal Hydrogen Moisturiser. I love this. I do love Revolution Skincare. Moisturiser is the one thing that once I found the one, I found it, I've sat with it for years. Um, I just went out of my Revolution Caffeine Tonic, which I literally use all the time. Um, I just started on my Pixie Glow Tonic, because that's one that I had bought a few months ago. Um, I got my sister into Revolution Skincare and I absolutely love it. Um, so that is another thing that I love, I think. Did I get you guys something from Revolution Skincare? I don't think I did, but definitely check it out. If you haven't already, what to try to do with the lid? Can I moisturise? I was there. Okay, fine. So I'd seen this concealer and I've never seen it before on their website, so I thought, oh, let's give that a go because it looked really similar to the NARS concealer, like the Radiant Creamy concealer. No. 
the matte one, the NARS um, Soft Matte, I think it's called. But this is the Revolution Conceal and Fix Concealer. It's in the shade Light Sand. And honestly, it looks really, really nice. I've obviously never tried it. But. So this is the pot that it comes in. It's just like a, uh, it's like blurry on the pot. And then it's just got the R on top. And then it obviously says Conceal and Fix Light Sand underneath. Obviously, sorry, it's not focusing on that. Um, but yeah, so it just looks, take the plastic off, then obviously I hate when stuff new because there's so much plastic. Um, so that is just the colour, I think it may be a little bit light, but we're going to roll, we're going to roll with it. So I'm just going to take this random fluffy Morphe brush and just apply that onto my eyes. Bring, like the most amazing full coverage but as you can see it has brightened that up so I do really like that um yeah I think this was like six pounds as well so considering I think the NARS one was like 20 something it's not bad at all I just put so much on this eye can you see that so that's the concealer on I think that was really nice for this um, it blended really nicely and it has definitely brightened up so if you're not looking for like super heavy coverage I think that's definitely perfect. Now I'm going to set this, this is also like another test, I'm going to set the this with this powder which I've also got for my skin but again I'm going to try it out first. This is the Revolution Pro CC Perfecting Press Powder, this is from their new CC range. I really wanted to try the CC cream but I saw Soph try it and it looked quite heavy um, so I didn't really like the look idea of that and um, but this is in the shade warm maple their packaging is stunning like look at that um, and then the inside looks like this so i'm not sure if it may be a little bit dark for my skin but i'm just gonna set my eyes with that look one side's definitely brighter because this has dried a bit so i'd say it definitely probably oxidizes just bear that in mind okay yeah it definitely makes that matte there was a little bit of shimmer in my eye before but not so much now. I will highlight my brow bone later because I have got a lovely highlighter. Did I get a highlighter? Yes I did because it's in a little palette. So that is the eye base on and to be honest I don't think the palette is dark at all and um, so that should be quite nice for my skin. Um, so I'm just going to quickly do an eyeliner. I'm going to struggle because I'm like sat on my bed on the end of my bed so don't judge me for that, but this is the Revolution Super Flick eyeliner, and it's just like a brush tip. Can you see that? I think this was about five or six pounds as well. Everything was literally about five or six pounds. It was had three for two on, so that's why I went a little bit mad. And also, why you've got guys are getting a giveaway, so big up Revolution for that. Okay, and this is in Ultra Black. Oh, this is in black, sorry, not ultra black, this is ultra black, ultra black. Um, so it looks like this, it looks kind of like the um, brow tattoo thing. Uh, yes, yeah, so let's give this a go. I am going to clean this up with baby wipes because it's not going to go well. I'd say it's quite nice, it's just say the one thing was when I was doing the wing, I think you can kind of see it was kind of going like do, 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 you know, it's like a nice smooth flick. That was the only thing I struggled with, but I'm actually going to make it a tiny bit thicker on the wing because I think the left is going to go quite thick. <coughs> yeah, beauty YouTuber. <laughs> Joking, I'm really not. That is a joke, it's really bad guys. <laughs> really bad but I'm going to fix it. What I'm going to do is actually grab one of my other eyeliners. I actually love the NYX Epic Ink Liner which is like more of a felt tip. I don't really get on with, well with brushes but I do use the NYX Matte Liquid Liner. I'm not really a fan of this. I'm not going to lie. I feel like it's a little bit dry. I don't know if it's the concealer underneath but I'm just not loving it. I can't. 
Okay, so I'm really excited. I'm just going to put my hand back further. I'm really excited to try out the new base products. So a lot of this stuff is actually from the new Revolution XX or XX Revolution, not sure which way around it is, um, but the new brand. So this is the primer and this is the Hydra Quench Bomb Primer for dry skin, which I thought was perfect because I obviously do have dry skin and I obviously like gels and things like that. I find them really moisturising. I usually use the NYX honey primer but honestly um i've just run out of it so i thought i'd pick this up because it's the same price it's 15 pounds um, and look at the packaging on this you can sorry you can probably see yourself it's more than the packaging but it's got a little like water droplets on it and it's like a green gel so let's see how this goes i'm obviously not going to hold the product up because i don't want to spill it all over my bedroom i'm just going to take what's on the lid first and just try it Okay, it feels quite nice. Doesn't smell too great, but it feels nice. I feel like it's aloe vera, it smells like holiday. It smells like a Bath and Body Works scent that I've smelled before, but I can't remember what it is. But I definitely smell this. I think I recognise this smell. Smell memory. So I to be when I was in Florida, which is really weird. Like I'm just talking absolute shit in this video. Okay, that would do that. Actually, feels really nice. I don't think it feels as hydrating as my next one, but it is really nice. I don't really think I love the faff of like the pot either, like dipping my fingers in, scooping it out. It's not ideal for me for a primer, but it's really nice on the skin, and I think it's giving me a little bit of a glow as well. So we're winning on that front. So for foundation, I picked up the new. XX Revolution again. This is the Glow Skin Foundation Luminous Foundation. I got this in the shade 5.7. I had to guess online, so if this doesn't match me, please don't hate on me. It probably isn't going to match me, let's be real. Um, but again, this looked really nice. They have this one and also like a matte full coverage one. This is meant to be medium to full coverage still anyway, but it's more like luminous, so I thought I'd grab this. I think the bottle looks really nice. Again, it has got a pump, um, so that's perfect for me. Standard 30 mil, is it? No, 27 mil. So that's a little bit less than we usually get. Again, this was about 15 pounds, I think. Um, I think that should be okay. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna buff this in my beauty blender. I've only ever tried the Revolution Conceal and Hydrate Foundation. I don't love that. It goes a little bit powdery on my skin. Um, this smells really nice. It smells like men's aftershave. I don't know why. I think it's maybe a little bit light. I mean, I was going to fake tan yesterday, so luckily I didn't because this would be so light for me if I was fake tanned. So I apologise for how light this is making my skin. I'm going to have to definitely bronze that up. I look like a ghost on screen, but I promise it's not that bad in person. I've got my ring light on, don't forget. So it's a little bit brighter for you guys. This has got really good coverage. It's a little bit hard to move around the skin. I'm trying to like bend it over as much as I can, but. in my arm honestly just do a little bit more on this cheek okay so now i'm looking like casper the ghost that's all good <laughs> just gonna jump in with the concealer which is the makeup obsession mega seal longwear concealer with caffeine perfect in the shade of three so if i'm ever running out of coffee drink my concealer i'm looking so pasty right now um, I think it's maybe dark. Let's try it. But this was this, this was about six pounds, I think. I said that for everything. I swear, wow, it's a big applicator. Just gonna. Okay, guys, this smells like Mac Pro Longwear or Mac Studio Fix. You know, like the paint smell. 
that's what this is giving me. Evie means it's going to be good coverage, but let's see. I've heard some really good things about this, but everyone also wrote about the Conceal and Define, which I do love, but I do find that a little bit drying sometimes. So let's give this a blend. like amazing coverage but again it doesn't feel super heavy so that's really nice I find sometimes like drugstore concealers can feel really heavy but then also not give you much coverage but it's not blending too great on my nose that's the only thing I will say but I did put that other concealer across there so that could be why Okay, so the biggest test of time now is oh, under eye powder. This is the XX Revolution Quick Fix Translucent Setting Powder. Now this, I want to say was like £12 and I don't think it's that big considering what I paid. Considering like I get, the, I use the Too Faced one or the Beauty Bakery usually. I can't believe how wide I actually <laughs> Or the Laura Mercier, um, which is obviously expensive, but this is quite a lot smaller than that. Okay, so it comes in like this sort of packaging with a little powder puff on top. I'm nervous. Okay, in fairness, that feels really light, really, really light. Considering it's a white one, I hate white powders usually. But that feels really nice and light on the skin. That is honestly beautiful. And if that doesn't give me any flashback, I'm really impressed, guys, if you can't tell. Okay, it smells one thing, but most powders do smell pretty rank to be fair. I'm just gonna leave that to bake. The smell is bad. That's really, really nice. That's really nice and light guys. I love that a lot. I'll probably not use that again, but I love not I mean not ever again, but I mean in the video I was putting it away. Um that feels really nice. And now I'm going to set the rest of the face because I feel like it's going actually ridiculous. So I'm going to set that over with the CC powder I showed you earlier. Again, this is in the shade Warm Maple. Just going to buff that over the skin. I do feel like my under eyes are super white now, so I think maybe that will flash back. I'm gonna say I don't love this foundation, I don't think it's giving me good coverage, but I think it's just a little bit, I think maybe it's too thick on this side, because it's looking better on this side. Um, I'm just not enamoured by it, I won't lie. I'm just gonna turn you guys' brightness down because I feel like that's not helping. I'm looking very ghostly. Um, and also it's got a little, little bit lighter outside, so I'm just gonna bring it down a bit. Okay, so a little bit better. So next we're gonna go in and um put some bronzer on. So I picked up two of these. These are the iHeart Revolution chocolate bar palettes. Now I love the smell of these. Um Revolution do a lot of chocolate bar stuff, like they do a lot of Jeeps of high-end brands, you can see the under eye powder, can't you? I can see it, so if you guys can't, you're lying. <laughs> um, I'm just going to add a bit of that other face powder under my eyes quickly, because that's really bugging me now that I've changed the lighting. Okay, 
a shame because that's a really nice powder. Um, so I'm going to go in with the bronzer. So I picked up two of these. I'm putting one in the giveaway, but I think I should put the other shade, but I've got two of one, so it'd be silly. Um, so I've got the medium and the light. I've put the medium in the giveaway, but I'll show you what I mean. They are a little bit darker than I thought. But if you can't use any of the products, obviously, in the giveaway, give them to your friends, your family, or anybody that you want to share them with. And I'm really sorry if you can't use something in the giveaway, but I'm sure there's going to be something that you can definitely use. Um, most of it is obviously different skin tone um, is acceptable for different skin tones. So I've got this, um, and it's what it looks like. It's so cute, um, and it smells stunning. Um, and this is the medium one now. You guys tell me what you think. I don't feel, they do also do a fair, so I can see why they've done this. I think it's a good color range, um, but I think that's gonna be too dark for me. The highlighter looks stunning if I had a tan on, um, but I think it's gonna be a little bit too dark. So I have got the medium one for you guys. If it is too dark, then I do apologize, but obviously you can get to see the quality of it and whatever. And smell it, because it smells beautiful. The light one does look fine though, so I'm gonna try that. First of all, so this is the light one, and I'm gonna use the highlighter out of this as well when I get there. So this is what the light one looks like. You can see it's just a little bit of a more chocolatey shade and a really nice gold highlight. So I'm just gonna take my normal peaches and cream bronzer brush in PC04. Um, what about just that one? Okay, so I've got a little bit of bronzer on this one. It's obviously not like it won't come off, like as you can see, there's no bronzer on that. Um, but I just like to have a little bit of product that like, I've used the brush before, I feel like it blends better. So I'm just gonna take the light one. If it is too light, then obviously I'll go in with the medium, but I don't think it's gonna be. Okay, that's really, really nice. But it's really nice. I think it even looks nice in the camera. And it looks nice on my cheek as well. I could probably, probably get away with the medium. Um, out, 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 out. There we go. You can see my head. There we go. I just want to bronze it up a bit because my foundation is quite light so I'm going to go in a bit with the bronzer so apologies to anybody who hates bronzer I love it <laughs> and right now my foundation is just far too light so I mean it's good I mean I'm complaining about things being like different shades but it's because they do have such a diverse shade range of evolution which I think is really good for a drugstore brand um, so I do recommend and they're always looking to expand their shade range which I think is really good Okay, so that has literally brought my skin back to life so i absolutely love that that's a really really nice bronzer um next i'm going to do my blush i'm going to actually do my mascara first because i'll do my blush and then set it and then i'll do my highlighter so i don't want my mascara to be wet i'm gonna curl my lashes first this is the mascara this is the the mascara revolution now i bought this because i mean it's been out for absolutely ages but i've got on mark jacobs mascara that was a super cool sound. I've got a Marc Jacobs mascara that I absolutely love and the wand on this looks really similar. So I thought I'd give it a try because the Marc Jacobs one's like £24 or something. My boy me back from Australia last year. It's not exactly the same. The Marc Jacobs one does have more of brushes. This is bristles. Um, but yeah, I'm going to give it a go. So I'm going to curl my lashes first. that's really quite nice can you see the difference there i don't know if you can but you can see my lashes here but you couldn't can't hear can you now i really like it i think it is very very similar to the mark jacobs one all i would say is that they clump up a bit more than they do with the mark jacobs one but that's to be expected to be honest 
And this was eight pounds, so it's literally a third of the price of the Marc Jacobs one. really nice i'm not gonna use it on my bottom lashes because it is quite thick um but i love that mascara i think that's really good and i'd recommend that no wonder it was going mental when that first came out people were talking about that so much i can see why now okay so for the best bit now we're getting near the end so you guys will be pleased to know that <laughs> i'll be going soon and um, so we've got the blush which is the xx revolution again x exposure exposure blush powder excess blush high pigment blusher in the shade do, 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 fickle so these looked stunning and all the excess all the excess all the excess revolution stuff has gorgeous packaging can i just say like look at that it's like a little case and then you open it up and that is just stunning it's a gorgeous like rose gold shade reminds me of nars orgasm but this looks a little bit darker and um, again all of this all online so i just grabbed whatever um, and i think these are about eight pounds maybe a bit more but oh my god they all look stunning so choosing one was hard i'm just gonna take my morphe e4 brush i usually use a real techniques brush but it's got loads of other blush on so i thought i'd use this one That's super pretty as you can see it's not super pigmented actually i thought it was going to be crazy pigmented it gives a really really nice flush and i'm really into like shimmery blushes at the moment too so you get a bit of highlight on the cheek as well okay i've got more pigmented on the left side for some reason i'm just going to add some more over here and just a tiny bit on the nose i like to do that sometimes and I'm just going to go over that with my beauty blender. The one, the powder one. <laughs> the other side is where I use the translucent. Just kind of blend it in. And then I'm going to set that all into place with the Revolu I Have Revolution Pineapple Setting Spray that I did before with the soap brow. Just let that all sink in. That smells absolutely stunning, by the way. I think this was like five pounds i don't know i can't remember anything but i'll link everything down below when i am able to get all the links because there's a lot of stuff um so the highlighter i'm going to go with the i have i have evolution contour chocolate palette whatever it's called um in the shade light i'm just going to take the highlighter color from here uh, and let's just go with that Usually they do some pretty good highlighters. Okay, yeah, can you see that? That is stunning. I had to go in the second time, but I don't mind. <laughs> So to finish off we've obviously got lips so i have got a lip line obviously from the nape set i've got a lipstick and a gloss so i'm going to show you these this gloss i've actually bought my friends like quite a few of my friends these glosses I never bought myself one um, i bought crystal one in her care package i did a couple of months ago and then i was like i wish i'd put one of them so now i have I'm just gonna get my packaging off before we try and delve in in such a mess that I need to clean up again. Okay, so I'm going to go in with the lip liner. I'm going to take the body suits one from me. I guess the L. This is like a nudie brow. Hopefully, it goes with the lipstick. I'm just going to try this. I didn't try the other one. I don't remember how much it was for both the lip liners, but it's pretty cool that you get two in. Well, you get an eyeliner and a lip liner in the set, but. 
this is the Nath lip liner in the shade Body Suits. I'm just, I love that sound. I'm just going to line my lips with that. the Revolution Pro New Neutral Satin Matte Lipstick. This is in the shade Undress. This looks so nice. And I rolled it a satin matte. I think that's too matte. Uh, and how cute is the packaging on these? This is just like a brownie nude shade. nice shade it's a little bit lighter than it looked in the tube but, but it's a really nice shade um and then the gloss is the revolution pout bomb clump <laughs> pout bomb plumping lip gloss this is in the shade glaze it's just a clear gloss obviously so i thought i'd just whack this on any lipstick um, but it's actually got like mint in it is really really tingly and really nice i actually love that tingly feeling don't know about you guys um so that is the makeup on what do you guys think let me know i'm actually really happy with that i think the only thing i wasn't like super happy with was the foundation and the uh, the pot concealer was that it um but i think but I think the foundation obviously is just because I, maybe I put a bit too much on on one side um, and obviously it's too light for me so maybe if it was in my actual shade it may be a little bit better but I think overall I did quite a good job of taking those things out um, God, so much hair so yeah I'd say I did a quite a good job but what do you guys think of the makeup let me know down below I think it's really nice I think the highlighter isn't as blinding as I usually would go for but it is really really cute um, so yeah, that is the finished look. So now that the makeup is done and all ready, I hope you guys like it. Let me know what you think down below, what products you'd like to try going forward. I'm just going to show you guys what I put for you guys in the giveaway. So go over to my Instagram after the video and make sure you enter the giveaway if you haven't already. I'm going to make it an Instagram only giveaway. So if you're not on Instagram, I am really sorry. I will be doing a YouTube giveaway at some point. Probably when I hit a thousand subscribers, which we're still a little bit way off. Uh, but I will post the picture here for what you need to look out for on my Instagram for this giveaway. Um, so what I am going to do... What I am going to do is make it so an extra entry will be if you're subscribed to my channel and if you comment below um, in this video. So make sure you're subscribed, comment below in this video and that will be an extra entry for you to my Instagram giveaway as well. You can enter multiple times over on Instagram as well so you've got loads of chances of entering um, if you just keep trying. Um, but yeah, all the... All the rules about the giveaway will be over on there. But for now, something's annoying my mouth. Okay. For now, I'm going to show you guys what I picked you up. So first of all, it wouldn't be a Corona giveaway if it wasn't for some hand gel. Revolution have their own hand gel scents. Um, so this is the coconut, uh, lavender and then ocean scented. I don't know how they scent it like the ocean um, but these are what they look like they are um, 60 millilitres each and there's three in there so I thought that was really handy random little thing I know but Corona giveaway so <laughs> that is what's in that is the first thing 
obviously as I mentioned earlier in the video there is the pretty please or the pretty in pink and the squeeze me palette um just to show you guys that I'm not giving you the same palettes as mine where's my pink one just to show you guys this is mine and this is yours so there's two in there for you guys that are brand new not opened little palettes for you to try out I also picked up one of these, this is actually from the Revolution Skincare range, this is the Revolution Skincare Relaxing Pulse Point Roll-On, and um, it's a little rollable, now this one is uh, Cannabis Sativa, Vitamin E and, oh that's it, oh Lavender Peppermint, things like that, so it's an essential oil blend, now I have these, they're another brand that I use, but they're like, um, specifically for it um, and they've I've got a total de-stress one I've got happy vibes I've got sleep ones I've got all different ones that I try um, and I saw this revolution for six pounds so I thought get you guys one of them to give them a try because I do honestly rave about them I talk to them to anybody that's like oh I suffer with this this and this they honestly work so what you do is like a little roller ball you put it onto like your pulse point so like your wrist behind your ears your temples things like that and it just sinks in it's all essential oils and it's really really nice to help you de-stress so I thought I'd grab that I try to keep things like themed with the current situation and then some cute little bits, so you'll get the vibe. Another skincare thing that I picked up is the Revolution Skincare X Jake Jamie Feed Your Face Strawberry Donut Face Mask. Again, I apologise if anyone has any allergies and you can't use any of these things because of that. And um, obviously if you can't then just pass it on to a friend or family and I apologise for anything you can't use. Um, but I got this because I'm not a fan of like fake strawberry scent but I know a lot of people are. So I thought this would probably smell really nice to be honest. So I grabbed this. I have got another two myself but they're... Like boring scents so I thought I'd mix it up and go for the strawberry donut for you guys and um, but this is the strawberry donut does it say what it's meant to do it's got vitamin e strawberry fruit uh, and it's meant to leave your skin glowing so that's really good and their masks are incredible again as I mentioned earlier the same as me you guys have got the iHop revolution pineapple brightening makeup fixing spray this is really really nice i've just tried it obviously you guys see me try it it smells really nice felt really nice on the skin and it's quite light as well so i'm excited for you guys to try it and let me know what you think when you do whoever wins gets this let me know what you think of it a random little gift is these little um sponges this is the um fruity makeup blending sponges you get a pineapple and a strawberry they're two of my favorite fruits so i thought I have to and I've got a jar of beauty vendors so I thought you guys would could do some as well. I then picked up, keeping with the fruit theme, I picked up the I Heart Revolution Peach uh, Tasty Peach Highlighter and it's got two shades in it um, and I thought it was really cute because I know peaches are all the rave at the moment. They do have a banana one and a strawberry one as well I think but I just thought peaches are perfect. Um, I picked up the clear brow gel, this is the brow fixer, clear brow gel, I love brow gels, it's good to have a nice clear one, so just grab that for you guys, don't want to put the soap side in in case it was rubbish, so I bought that instead. Again, the same as me, the gloss bomb or the pout bomb for you guys, the same as this one, the clear and the shade glaze, these are really really nice, I've bought them for so many people, um, and I'm so glad I've got one, honestly the plumping doesn't feel horrible either, it feels really really nice and minty. The chocolate bar bronzer palette in the shade medium, like I said, it may be a little bit too dark if you are paler than me or as pale as me, um, but it's really, really nice, smells really nice, and like I said, you can always pass it on or try the highlighter on your body because that would work as well. And then last of all, the gorgeous Makeup Revolution X Roxy Blush Burst Palette. I bought this in my Beauty Bay haul recently, which you guys would have seen with my sister a couple of months ago. Love this palette, it's actually amazing and it works for all different skin tones. So I thought that would be a perfect gift to give away to you guys as well. And that's got eight shades of blushes in there as well for you guys. So yeah, I think that's a good little mix of prizes. I hope you guys are interested in entering the giveaway. If you are, like I said, head over to my Instagram, which will all be linked down below for you to go and check it out. And um, make sure you comment on that and make sure you comment on this video for an extra entry but you must be subscribed and i will be checking um so thank you all for watching i hope you liked the video if you did please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe before you leave we are so close to 500 now and i'd really appreciate hitting that soon um so thank you all for watching this and i'll see you on the next video